Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red. This uh, Monday morning, it's uh, bright, but it's a bit cold. Um, Matthew chapter uh, 20, verse 18. We read a new story. It says, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, says Jesus, and, and the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. So Jesus says, behold, meaning take note, get this, we're going up to Jerusalem. So he took his disciples aside and said, hey, you lot, we're going up to Jerusalem. And on the way, he began to give them insight into what was waiting for them in Jerusalem. Now, you would think if you knew what was waiting for you in Jerusalem, why would you go there? Well, Jesus was going there because Jesus came with a purpose. And the purpose he came was to bring salvation. And the only way salvation could come is if he went up to Jerusalem. And so in, uh, in, in um, 20, 18, it's when he says, uh, And the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and the scribes. The Son of Man will be delivered. So he's the Son of Man. And he's saying to his disciples, I am going to be delivered to the scribes and the Pharisees. And these were the religious and they were going to do him some harm. And he doesn't even stop by saying that. He says, he says this, he says, uh, and the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. It's them that will condemn him to death. It means that they will have no restraint as it relates to he, the way that he would die condemning him to death a certain type of death the death of crucifixion and so Jesus knows that he's going up to Jerusalem he wants to pre-warn the disciples so that when they get there and these things happen that they are fully aware of it that they know everything that's about to take place and that sense of being able to prophetically look ahead and see and yet still go and do it, even though you know it's going to be bad for you. Must have been an incredible, difficult journey up to Jerusalem. Not just for Jesus, but for the disciples as well, because they were thinking, what does this really mean? Jesus is going to be crucified. He's going to be taken away. The religious people are going to be involved in bringing about his destruction. Why would religious people want to bring about the destruction of the Lord Jesus? He is the one who's going to come to do some good on the earth. And there's this sense of, oh, no, we're going to lose our Lord. We've only just found him. Brothers and sisters, I'll carry on tomorrow. Have a great day.